You think this is going to be a good fit? Well, Skip, look, if it's not a good fit, <laughs> you, you don't, you don't, you get, when you build a house, you find the pieces that fit in the house. So we got this kid. If the pieces we have right now, Skip, don't fit, we go get some pieces that do fit. <laughs> you look at the 24, they got, they got their first round pick. They get the Hornets uh, first round pick that's lottery protected. And they got the Raptors first round pick next year that's top six protected. They so. Do. Now, it, it, I, I'm looking at them the same way I look at uh, OKC. Y'all yep. got all these first-round pick. I'm trading something and try to get me a, a proven player okay. to go with them because, Skip, they're really young. Young teams don't win championships. You look at the Boston Celtics, it's taking them a time. It took Jason Tatum and Marcus Smart and Jalen Brown years to be in this position where they can consistently compete. It's going to take years unless you get you a veteran presence. Now, it's not like San Antonio. I understand, Skip, they say they, what? They just feel they finished uh, building a $500 million practice facility. That's not going to attract top-notch free agents. No, agreed. So you're going to have to either trade, give up some of this draft capital, and get someone uh, maybe with a year or two left on their contract yeah. and then try to coax them to stay. But if this kid is as good as they say he is, now, when they got David Robinson, Skip, they improved 35 games. They got Tim Duncan, thir 12, 13 years later, they improved 36 well, games. Only because th they got him because David Robinson was hurt and so was everybody else on the team. Yeah, but, he yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what, how that's, they got yeah, the first right. pick. But I'm saying, you have to look at, look at what the Admiral was, Skip. Yeah. Admiral spent four years at the Naval Academy. Yeah. Tim Duncan spent four, four years, years at Wake Forest. Four long years. Them guys ain't waiting no four no. years. They, no. they ain't waiting to get at that money because the sooner you get to the NBA, the sooner you can get you a max contract. Agreed. Like I said, Skip, all I've seen is highlights of the kid, and the kid looks, he look, he's, he's extremely thin, but he can handle the ball, he can shoot the three, he can get to the rim. Mm -hmm. All those things should serve him well because the space, the court is so much more spaced out and opened up. I don't know what he's going to be. If he, let's just say he's a combination, he's in between Tim Duncan and David Robinson. When well, you got you a franchise piece. <laughs> I, now look here. Is he going to be better than Tim Duncan? That's a, Skip, that's a big old ladder. That's five championship MVP, final MVPs, all defense. All, that's a lot going on. <sighs> there was a lot going on with me <laughs> last night. I cannot express to you how happy I was for those now long-suffering fans in San Antonio. Man, y'all had it good for some damn, Skip. How long you wanted to have it good? It's been a long time. <laughs> yeah. It's been four years since they even made the playoffs, and, and that might go to five or six, to your point. Yes. Okay. Briefly, my long and rich history with the San Antonio Spurs. It started for me back in the late 70s, early 80s with George the Iceman nice. Gervin finger rolling his way to three scoring titles in four years. Mm -hmm. He just took my breath away and took my heart. And then along came Tim Duncan. I didn't see him coming at Wake because I didn't know if his motor ran hot enough, but it runs at its own pace. Yeah. And he obviously became, to me, a top five player all time. He's the greatest power for it. Ain't no question about that. And if not for Ray Allen, he'd have a, a <laughs> yeah. sixth championship, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Then came, thanks to R.C. Buford, Tony Parker as the last pick in the first round out of France. Mm -hmm. And then came Manu Ginobili as the second to last pick in the second round out of Argentina. Argentina. And all of a sudden, you got something going. Right. And then R.C. turns right around and flat out steals Kawhi Leonard from the Indiana Pacers for George Hill. They even threw in Davis Bertans, if you can believe that. We got Kawhi with the 15th overall pick and Davis Bertans, who's an incredible right. NBA six foot nine inch three point yes. shooter. Still, he's still in the league. Yes. Yeah. And we got both of them for George Hill, who <laughs> you know, I, I told you from the start, I never was the biggest George Hill fan. And then LeBron tried to trust him with those free throws. And you know the rest of the story. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, it got so crazy great for me. I became such a Spurs fan that I think for a while I was the mayor of San Antonio. And we started taking our show on the road to the 2013 finals and 2014 finals, and we would be down on the river walking. It'd be like 105 degrees in the shade, and we'd be <laughs> dripping wet out there. And it was the greatest moments of my career because they were so great to watch. And you thought they were broccoli because most people thought they were broccoli. <laughs> it, Tim Duncan was the most boring superstar yeah, in man. the history of superstars. But you know what? People I knew inside the Spurs believed he was the greatest leader ever. Then what started happening? 
the Kawhi thing went completely sideways because he and Pop began to clash. And it was predictable because Pop is as old school as you can get. He's ex-military, and he coaches hard, and he is egomaniacal just the way Belichick is egomaniacal. And how did he get away with it for all those years? Because he had a Brady named Tim Duncan. Yes. In the locker room saying, it's just the way he is. Just We'll, we'll be okay. Just, just mm -hmm. suck it up. Just, just bite your lip. Don't, don't fight back. Yeah. Kawhi finally fought back and said, I'm not going to take this but. anymore. And, you know, it went completely sour south. Right. And it got so bad, I had people from Kawhi's inner circle calling me, telling me stories about what Pop was doing to Kawhi. And, and I, I was so tired of Kawhi because it looked like he quit on the, the team. Mm -hmm. But he actually exposed Pop for what he was. Right. For the new school players, the younger generation right. just said, you can't we're not going like, to do this. You can't coach him like this. You, you know and I know. You can't. And I don't think you could have coached Shannon Sharp like this no. in his generation. No. because. And and that's what the thing is. It's Skip, verbally it's, abusive. Right. If, and Pop being the coach that he is, you must understand that you can't coach Kawhi like you coach you, uh, uh, Tim you, you and cannot. Tony and Manu. You, Skip, by his personality, just the way you, if you observe Kawhi, you already know you can't talk to him any kind of way. You, you do. You, <laughs> you already see know. It. You're going to lose him. Okay. So we got to Zaza up a cheap shot and put his foot <laughs> underneath Kawhi. He did. And remember, he did. They, they had a 23 point lead in the third quarter, a game one at Oracle in the Western Conference yeah. Finals. Yes. And phew, he steps on the big old 20. You know, crater, you know, like he, he it, the ankle goes completely over. Because he'd already nursed a sore ankle because he hurt yeah. against Houston. And that was the end of that. And then next year, he played all of nine games and, and quit his way all the way to Toronto and won a championship. Right. Here's my point about Pop, and I was just ahead of the curve last week on my podcast. I went deep into this. I have fallen out of love with Greg Popovich because nobody with any class, real class and human dignity, would treat media members the way he consistently has. But he get away because with it. He got away with it. Because Coach Belichick does the same thing. Thank you. Thank you. He is Coach Belichick. <laughs> it's all it, – it, and yet he kept saying, when Tim Duncan walks out that door, I'll be right behind him. Tim Duncan walked out that door seven years ago, and guess who's still coaching? Okay, so now to my bigger point. I was bittersweet last night in my emotions because I don't want to see Pop coach Wim Yama because he seems like such a great kid, but he's a new school kid. Right. And he's not going to, his mother has coached him, and, and he's not going to be able to take this. The Pop's 75, and I don't care about the age. I just care about old, old, old school. Yeah, you got to change. And, he, he had bullied the media for so long and gotten away with it. In fact, I saw Doc, uh, there was a quote is, is recently where Doc got upset with some the line of questioning. He said, would you ask Pop that question? And I'm thinking, Doc, no, nobody would ask Pop that question because they'd be afraid for their lives exactly. because he would cut them to pieces, <laughs> right? Because exactly. he, he, he was so condescending and yeah. such a big pulpit, bully pulpit standing right. up there. Okay, so the point is, last night, it hit me. The, the truth is, and this is not going to happen because he's so beloved in San Antonio, it's time to go with a new coach. You know what? To go with a really? young coach? Yes, it is. Wow. I, this is a new era with a kid who I think could be a big star. Right. I think he can because I was watching his highlights last night. Of, he's playing in the French Pro right. League. Shannon, he's unguardable because he is so agile. And, and has such supreme skill. He's seven feet right. five, and he, he's skinny, but he, he plays with some strength, and I'm sure that can change. Yeah. But isn't it time to go young at coach, to have them start together, to start a whole new Spurs generation? Well, I, I, don't, I don't see that happening, Skip. Um, he, he go into a place that is no nonsense, that is all basketball. I think Manu's still there, so Manu will be in his ear. But I just think the thing I now... I hope Tim is in his ear. Because <laughs> Tim's around. He's, he yeah. lives in San Antonio. Yeah. I, I just think the thing is, Skip, the way, the way coaches have to understand now, no matter how great the players are, a lot of these guys play video games. That's their thing. And COD and whatever else yep. you be... Whatever, whatever, whatever it is, Skip. I got it. You just have to accept that and say, okay... Play your video game, okay. but as long as you come ready to play your... Okay. See Kyler Murray. Yes. Right? And you see, what, what did Devin Booker say? Man, you know, I got to go get on that COD. Hey, I'm, hey, I'm sorry, guys, but that's, that's what these... Skip, that's what these guys do now. But don't... I ain't got no problem with it, but as long as, you know, football, you know your assignment. Basketball, you know what you're supposed to do, yep. and you go out there and play. Yeah. Hey, what you do in your spare time? I got I, it. Okay. So, in the end, I believe the basketball gods... 
gave this kid to San Antonio because R.C. Buford was the trailblazer in signing international players. He was going back to Boris Diaw from France yeah. and Tiago Splitter. You always they really also were, they also yeah. were the the what you what you call them in signing international players. What did you say they were the innovators. Yeah, the trailblazers. Trailblazers. Yeah, There's yeah. also the trailblazers on low management. They trailblazed no, that too. No. So, so give them give them credit for that. No, for that. No, that's true. <laughs> but but the point is, they've had such a long parade of of very good yeah. out of nowhere form players. Where I'd say I don't even know who that guy right. is, and look what he can do. Right. Okay. So the basketball god said, "We reward you with victory." Right. You got Wimby. Right. Congratulations. Now I just like to see somebody else coach him. You, but that's you, you get you get two top fifty, yeah. two top fifty. I mean, well, top fifty player in David Robinson, a two top seventy five players in Robinson and Duncan. Yeah. And you coach them hard. Skip, who else gonna come in there and say, "Well, you, you can't coach me like this"? He's like, did you did you see the Admiral MVP? Do you see Duncan? Yeah. That's the way I coach them, and yeah. they got a championship. So. Uh, well, see Kawhi Leonard. And, and, and Coach Belichick. Yep. Coach Belichick said, did y'all see how I coached Tom? Mm-hmm. And Gronk? And this one and that one? How's it working out with Mac Jones? Mm-mm. Not. Hey, hey Tom, just, Tom just, like, at that point in time, I don't think, I, I, knowing Tom the way you know him now, Skip, yep. I don't think he could deal with it now. You're probably right. <laughs> well, after he got a taste of Tampa. Yeah, he, yeah. Either, he like, uh-uh. Yeah. Okay. You, you grow up, you get brought up into that. Yeah. That's all okay. you know. All right. So I dare the hardest core Spurs fan. Go back and look at the Spurs record after Tim Duncan walked out that door. See, see what happened. Pop got exposed. He's just they another... were good. Skip. Yeah. I, I still believe they would have been a, a contending team mm-hmm. had Kawhi been able to stay there yeah. because Kawhi and 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 Lamarcus Soldier, That was a nice little combo. And skip. then they got Demar Derozan and it yeah. started to teeter. Yeah. 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 But but they got Demar Derozan for Kawhi. They did. Spurs fans had a party on social media last night. It certainly was fun to watch all the reactions. Hey, Lulu, send me one of them cinnamon rolls. Mm. They got them five-pound cinnamon <laughs> rolls, Skip. You want one? No, I do not. They you should. Sure? Ernestine no. to eat it. No. Ernestine, I'm going to get us a five-pound cinnamon roll. <laughs> I don't think she Shannon, would, I bet you wouldn't need like it either. Thought. All right, guys, <laughs> let's move on. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.